My name is Will Schustrick. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and this is what's in my bag. Uh, for putters, I typically putt with a 300 series PA1, uh, max weight, of course. Um, I've been using these ever since, they, since the 300 series came out, and it's changed my putting game drastically. It's got a really good hyzer finish right at the end, and I really like them for jump putts a lot. And I've been uh, also working a little bit with the PA2. It has a little bit of a straighter line towards the basket and uh, kind of going back and forth right now, but I think I like the PA1. And then uh, in my bag for throwing putters, I actually throw the 300 series PA1 also. And I have one that's a little bit brand new, uh, goes straight with a little bit of a hyzer finish and then one that's been worn that I ace with actually. Um, pink, nice and bright, I can find it. Uh, this one's pretty straight and finishes a little to the right. It's a really good, really good throwing disc. I love throwing the PA1. And the PA4 in the 300 series, this one is for like uh, shorter shots, usually under 300 feet that I throw fan grip, either hyzer flip or really short runs at the basket from 100 to 150 feet. And then the 400 series PA2 I throw is pretty overstable. I can throw it fairly hard on a little bit of an Anheuser and then get it to Heiser, uh, usually even if there's a wind out. Uh, my mid ranges in my bag, I carry the 400 series M1, the 400 series M3, and the new 400 G M5. And uh, I throw the M1 for the overstable 380-foot uh, hyzer or uh, flex mid-range shot. Uh, for when it gets windier, also, I use this disc. It, it holds up really well in the wind and still finishes with a consistent hyzer. Uh, the M3 is my favorite mid-range, and I throw this the most. I can throw it really hard on a hyzer, and I'll stand up a little and go straight with a little bit of a hyzer finish. I'm more of a fan of the... Uh, uh, slight hyzer finish on a mid-range compared to straighter finishes and that's why I like the M3. And then I have the new M5 that I like a lot. I can throw it, uh, this is my understable mid-range. Uh, anything below 400 feet, actually I could probably throw this disc. It uh, goes really far pretty fast, really, uh, really consistent turnover on it and it flies just like the PA4 but probably another 100 feet on the, uh, on the drive for me. And for fairway drivers, I carry the F7, the F2, the F5, and I carry the F1. And they're all in 400 series plastic. And the F1 I use for hyzer fairway drives around 420 feet and below. It's good for sidearms also. And this is probably my most use fairway driver because I like throwing a little bit more of an overstable fairway driver off the tee to get that consistent hyzer finish. Uh, the F5 is one of my favorite discs to throw. It, uh, starting out with a little hyzer, it'll stand up and hold a little bit of a turnover. And it's really good for the wooded, wooded drives going really far. It's actually one of the longest flying fairway drivers that I've ever thrown. Um, the F2, I actually just put in my bag. It's got a little bit of snow water droplets on it but uh, it's, it's also really consistent. I haven't thrown it too much, but I'm looking for it to be a little bit of a straighter F1. And so far that's exactly what it is. And I think it's gonna be in my bag uh, definitely for a while. And then the F7 I use for rollers or short hyzer flip turnover shots. Uh, this is pretty understable. So I don't usually throw it a lot, but it's good for those turnover shots. So I need something to always hold that long and hyzer. And for distance drivers, I have the 400G D1 with a team stamp. I throw, a, I throw a 400 series D1. I throw a special edition D1. And then I throw a 400G D3. And these D1s all have a different type of stability for me. And this D1 is something that I can throw flat or a little bit of a hyzer. And it'll go really far with a consistent hyzer finish at the end. And this one does about the exact same, but holds a turnover for a little bit longer. And then this one is a, almost the same, but it finishes with a hyzer finish at the end. And it's the most overstable distance driver in my bag. And then the D3 is my longest 
distance driver in my bag, starting out with a little bit of hydra, I can get it to flip up and hold and then come back. And then I throw the 400G D3 for long sidearm shots.